Well, hi there, it's Brooke, and I have another friend mail with a little decor haul. So it's mainly Easter decor with probably a few spring things thrown in that I just couldn't help sharing with you. And of course, I have to share my friend mail with you. So, oh, let's get into it. So the friend mail is from Susan again, and she said that there was quite a bit of stuff in here because it was nice and heavy. I'm excited to see what's in here. I don't know exactly what's in here, just like tear tray stuff because she says she loves to help out with the tear trays and she just wanted me to have it. So let's get into it. So she said there is some eggs in here and then I had talked about putting eggs in my lantern here behind me and she said you could put some grass on the bottom which is like an excellent idea that would be super cute and I have like grass grass or like mossy kind of grass too from like the Dollar Tree and stuff here's the box and we're just gonna go through it oh I see 4th of July I see Easter so let's oh these are cute look at these little pots of flowers so we have some pink flowers some like white daisies there's another one over here. This is another more like peachy pinky flower. I'm just gonna dump it out and then I'll show you. So then I have some red and blue flowers for like my 4th of July cheer trays. They're just little picks. Those are fun. I've always looked for some like this and then I always change my mind on them. And then these are just some daisies. Those will be fun for the spring here and summer. And then these are actually napkin rings. I forget what kind of flowers these are called. I don't know. It won't come to me, I'm sure. Those are fun. Those will work good on tear trays. It'd be fun to do like an actual table piece with those, but I don't usually set a table. <laughs> so I got something breakable here. Oh, too cute. So I got two little bowls. They're the like a uh, melamine or whatever from, I think they're from Hobby Lobby it says here. Or it looks like a Hobby, yeah, it's Hobby Lobby. Those are cute, those will work perfect on my tier trays and now I have a few more containers since I broke that one. And then there was something all wrapped up inside of there. Oh, he's so cute. I remember when these came out at Target and I got one and then like didn't use it and I've been like regretting it ever since that I didn't keep it. Well, they had ones like it at Target. I don't know if this is exactly what they just say. But this has a little bunny butt on it, a little palm or you know, a little tail. Oh, that's cute. I'm excited for that. That'll be super fun. Cause I've been thinking about, I didn't have any like fun egg holders. I see more Easter, I'll grab that here next. And then there's like a bag for the 4th of July. So this is just some white eggs and then like the burlap eggs. So that'll go excellent with my collection that I already have. And then this is one of those napkin rings. Like I have the burlap ones, but this is a little blue one. You can, I like to stick it in like little pots or this or that. Like the bunnies popping out, that will be super fun. I love that. That blue that blue's been all over for the spring and Easter and stuff this year it's kind of like blue is making its debut I guess right now so everything else is wrapped up so I'm just gonna do what's on the top here there's some little pinwheels um and then there's a little flag well here's another pinwheel oh there it is I thought it was stuck in a straw no nope. there's another pinwheel there's a bunch of straws the white striped ones and I flung something. Oh, I flung a straw. And I dropped it again. <laughs> oh, and I dropped a little piece of string. I don't know what that was on. Okay, so I got the straws and the pinwheels and the flag out. So then there's a cute, look at the widow gnome. He's so cute. And then there's also like a little pillow firecracker. I wonder if that was on this. Maybe? I don't know. I'll have to try it. That's super cute. I was looking all at Etsy at these all last year and I just never bit the bullet on anything. And then there's a bunch of the little firecrackers from Hobby Lobby in there. And then there's the red, the blue and the stars. And then the red and the white stripe. And there's like four of each of those. That does not fit. I don't think he was supposed to go on there. Okay. Maybe it was just holding the straws together. So she did say there was some Easter grass. So here is some of that... Just like um, the papery kind of Easter grass or whatever. You can put that in like presents or use it on your tiered tray. That'll be fun. Stick it in there. Don't want to get that everywhere. And then there's another little baby of stuff. Ooh. Oh, 
Oh, I see that at the bottom. We'll leave that for the end. I think she told me about that one. Oh, there's another beautiful blue bunny that goes with that thing. I always see these at Hobby Lobby and don't have a lot of blue in my stuff, but this will be fun to like try to do kind of a blue and white tray because they've been doing all that blue and white with like the hen chicken stuff at Target. But I'm just not, I don't know. My grandma had some of that. I want to say it had ducks with it, not um, hens. I think it was blue and white and had a bunch of ducks. I should ask her, see if she remembers that. Oh, and then here's the standing up one. Oh, I'm excited. Picturing maybe the Dollar General tray or even the little Walmart one. <sighs> All the thinking. Okay, that's just paper to make sure it was secure in here. This is funny. So I have the gray one of this, and when I was in Hobby Lobby the other day, they still have a, the white, gray, and pink like they've always had, and I was like, should I grab that white one or that pink one? I'm like, I have the gray one. Like, maybe it needs a buddy. Like, I really like to use it, but maybe I don't want to use gray. Well, now I got the white one. That's too funny. She must have been reading my mind, right? So that is perfect. I want another one of these, and now I have one. This looks like... Oh, it's just on a stand, I see. I was like, thought this was a lid. So it's just a little metal bunny and then he has his own little stand. It almost looks like he's sitting on a coaster. Oh, he's fun looking. That's cool. I've never had anything on a stand like that. And then there's one more little bunny in here. Just the side bunny. Oh, he's cute. I think he's pretty much the same color as my other metal bunny. I love it when they're like looking up and stuff. And then these two match, have the same kind of look to them with like the metal details going up the metal. Oh, he's cold, he must have been sitting by my door. I'm making him cold. <laughs> Cotton tail, field, sweet shop, jelly beans, candy eggs, and chocolate bunnies. I was looking at these kind of ones at Hobby Lobby because they have little signs and I was like, hmm, do I need that? Well, of course I need it, right? But it's so much better to get it from a friend. That's so cute. That'll be, that's cute. I really like that. Well, and I was thinking about this today too. I saw an egg on um, Instagram. I was scrolling through and I was like, I don't have any flat like stand up eggs. I just have like regular shaped eggs. There we go. I'm all set now. Oh, and then the last thing, she said she got three signs and she only pretty much uses one. So she was gonna pass along the other two. I'm thinking that's what these are. There's only that other bunny sign. So it's two little word boards. And this one has black felt and this one has gray. You can hang them on a wall. They do have little hooks on them. And then that's what I saw earlier was the package of letters and shapes and all that. So like there's some cursive words, November, October. It looks like it's all the months and probably then some. And then these are just letters. Yeah, these are about the same size or very close anyways to the ones that I already have that go on my big word board. Oh, that'll be fun. I'm excited for these. These, that's fun. I like the, the cursive ones. I always see that on when I'm looking for examples for my word board, but I don't have any. That'll be fun. And then this will be perfect. I think that's a perfect size to like stand up on one of my bigger tiered trays. And then you can make whatever saying you want. I've seen those. Oh my goodness. This is an amazing box, so amazing. I'm so lucky to have a friend like that that wants to send me stuff I never, I never would have expected it. And I don't expect it, but I am very, very thankful for it. So thank you very much, Susan. So as before, I'm just gonna go store by store with the decor haul. And I did put a, a order in for Michaels once they were 30% off. And I got a few things. The main thing that I wanted to get that was a little more of a discount was this little bunny cage. I just thought that was super cute. I think this would even fit on my like tiered tray down in the bottom. Or I was thinking maybe on my mantle I could like put it on something, you know, and surround it by other things. But it does come with either these brown bunnies or white. And when you purchase it online, it just says assorted so you either get one or the other unless you purchase both. Usually when I buy two of something like that, they usually give me one of each. So that is nice, but I did get the brown one. I would have been happy with either one. I thought both of them were super cute. And so that's the first little thing. Another 
couple things I picked up were these pom-pom carrots. I just thought they were too cute. Orange and then the cream color, and then they have white pom-poms. I thought these would be fun definitely by themselves. You could put them together, you could add it to other carrots. And then they do have pretty nice stuff at the top. I'm kind of fussy about my carrot stems. I like them to be more natural and wispy. The other thing I got thinking about my like lantern or just like different things, I grabbed a couple bags of each of their colors of eggs. And so these were about $3.50 I want to say. Yeah, they're $4.99 and then I think it was 30% off. You get 14 pieces and I think you got like 14 pieces at Home Goods. They might have been a little bit bigger eggs, but they were like $15. Or not Home Goods, at home, I mean. I'm sorry, at home. They're like $15. So it was like, uh. so I'm gonna Hold these up close so you can kind of see their different colors. There we go. So there's all the light. This is like the pastel or the light pack. Those will definitely blend really nice with my other ones. And then here is the bright pack. And I think these will blend very well with my like brighter ones. So I got two of each. I think I would need like 20 packs to fill up my lantern or so. So we'll see what I do there. They're not quite as bright, maybe in person, as they are showing up on the camera here. That's my little Michaels haul. I almost picked up the garland that had like the bunny heads and the carrots and they were like sisal and then I realized when I was going through my toast that I already had that ones from Kirkland's that has kind of like the flat ones and I'm like it's basically the same thing Brooke you don't need two of the same thing so I passed next let's do Hobby Lobby and I just grabbed a few things there Easter is 40% off I think that went 40% off at my last video I did grab another hop sign this has like a blue a pink and then this the natural beads on it I just thought it was too cute it's a little bit smaller than my other hop sign so I'm hoping I can fit it on a tiered tray but we will see and then from the Easter section I saw that they just had a couple um, bags of like the white spec eggs and then like brown speckled eggs I think these would be perfect to put in that like hen basket or just to add to my other ones it's, I was kind of thinking about the lantern again so we'll see and these would be fun um, to use in my farm fresh and free range little Ray Dunn egg holders because I have been using the wood ones but it'd be fun to change it up every now and then and then the other two things I got are these what do they even call them wood tableware wood serveware so they are food safe they're two little scoops and I thought you could scoop it and pile something in there this would be good year-round um it's just in their spring shop but these are definitely year-round so they're not the cheapest of things even at 40% off so these are a bit of a splurge and I'm gonna see if I like them and want to use them otherwise they're going back to the store but I couldn't decide if I wanted the smaller or the big one so I just grabbed both for now and figured I could decide that and then take them back could even like set it in like a metal basket that would look kind of neat too I have some that like um they're like hold or you know they're not solid <laughs> so you could see this through it there's a acacia wood or whatever so those were just fun I thought to have so I grabbed those I saw those in one of their commercials and finally found them at my store so the next place I went was Walmart I was watching Crystal Tara and she said our Walmart was putting out some Easter decor so I was like well crap now I gotta go to Walmart I picked up a few things they had a lot of cute stuff there at good prices don't sleep on Walmart when it comes to Easter they got some good stuff or any holiday really they get some really cute stuff there so this was the first thing I picked up because Crystal showed it and I was like mmm so it's just a little like bunny statue and he's kind of jumping or whatever this was six dollars so I thought it was pretty reasonable um, I even thought like for my mantle or something like that but so we'll see where he ends up but I just was like I gotta have that in case I want to use it right that's kind of my motto I'm gonna go buy that and then I might use it if not I'll I'll take it back to the store and then the other thing I grabbed here was one of these canisters they had two of them they have a taller one that has like kind of a mint green like gingham on it and I thought about that one but the green just doesn't really match like my other greens my other greens really aren't mint they're more like grass green I don't know like a darker green or something they're not that like mint color so I decided just to get the orange one and the short one and I thought this would be perfect for tear trays obviously but I thought it might be cute up on my shelf too in the kitchen and maybe I could put like I have like Ray Dunn canisters and stuff maybe next to it I don't know but I just thought that would be a nice piece to have it's only orange so technically I can use it you know all throughout like spring and summer I don't think I would use it it's kind of a different orange to use for fall but 
you could. And then I saw these carrots. So they have the little ones are $2 and then the bigger one is $4.50. So here's like the size comparison. They don't light up or anything, but they're that like, um, grapevine carrots and they have nice tops. So I got two small and one big. I figured I could use them together or use them separate. I just thought that was a nice amount. And then they had in their little jars. I know I have a jar similar to this that's a little fatter. But I've been looking for one of these smaller ones from Walmart forever and they finally had one that wasn't like shiny and all like pearlized and stuff. This is just like a normal little bunny on a white one and it's cute and so I picked that up. These are four dollars and then i also grabbed some lights i've never gotten any easter lights um, these do have a timer it says six on 18 off 25 lights two double a's so i thought this would be a good little thing to maybe string up even to string up like along my mantle or something but it's just little bunnies and carrots so target my target still isn't stocked they just have gold bunnies and white bunnies and i think a few of the cutting boards it's just not filled yet they had valentine at 50 percent off in the dollar spot but all the other valentines was 90% off and then the food was 70. I'm like why aren't they clearing out that dollar spot? I just thought that was weird but my target's kind of weird with their dollar spot. They had those pumpkin mugs and they didn't go on clearance until like after Christmas. I'm like uh it's after Christmas why are you know it was just weird whatever. They can do whatever they want. I'll just keep going back in there, right? So the two bunnies I did pick up were this white one, and this is a $5 one, so this will be the largest one. I just don't really have any like sitting in this position, so I thought this would be a good one to add. And then I also, speaking of the sitting position, I grabbed a gold bunny, and then this is the, oh, so this must be the largest of the gold bunnies too because it's $5. So I got two kind of in a little bit different sitting positions. I just thought that would add a little bit to the other shapes I have. Walmart does have gold bunnies. I think they're a little bit bigger than this. One is like laying down and one is standing up and they're around that $5 range. And they had some very like nice cool detail on that. So if you don't have a Target, Walmart has some super cute gold bunnies that was super tempted by. We will just stick with the dollar spot theme and and I picked up some of these pink tulips around Valentine's. They had a bunch of other flowers and stuff out, but no other tulips. And then when I went in there the other day, they had more tulips. And I had seen some of these online, but you know, you just get glimpses sometimes. They have like a peachy pink, and I thought it was the same as this. So here is the like cream or peachy kind of color and then the pink color so you can kind of see the difference or even this one like the lighter one leans a little more pink so I grabbed three of the peachy kind of ones too I don't really like them like all together in a bunch they just look too similar and then they also had like the ombre purple ones and even with that I'm not like a super fan of how they all look together like it's not horrible so more than likely I would use these individually if I use them at all because I know I have other like peachy flowers and other purple flowers that I probably like better and I know I have other purple tulips I think from when they did them you know a while ago so I'm definitely keeping my pink ones I really like those they might just go in my valentine's bucket but these I'm not 100% sure on and then the other tulips they had were these they're like bigger they're kind of like those orange ones I bought but as you can see they got like the bigger head on them and they had yellow ones and then like orangey red yellow ones so I'll hold these up here so I have some kind of like this and I have yellow ones but not in this shape. This was another one like these yellow and orange ones I thought would be fun in like my basket or in that wreath I got for the door. I think I would need a few more but at a dollar a piece that's not too bad. I can get 10 of them. There's those colors and then they also had this hot kind of pink that's slightly ombre but not too much and it's like another one of those things like where they have two colors that are like super similar and then they have the like brighter colors so I'm not sure about these either I don't really have a pink like this but I have a brighter pink that I do use but I do really like these I think I like the ones with the orange better to put in like a wreath so it's more like orangey carroty I picked them up because I wanted to see them I wanted to use them look at them with things to see if I really liked them or not but these are another one of those things where I'm like hmm and then the last thing I think are all hearth and hand if I remember correctly so I grabbed three of these hearth and hand faux stem and it's just called a snowball so I'll pull it apart here and it's just a light like 
pinky, blushy, taupey, mauve kind of color. And I put three of them upstairs in a vase that's sitting on my um, nightstand. So I have been already using these up in my bedroom. So that's where they'll stay for a while until I switch it out in there. But that is where these ones are gonna go. And then the next few I bought for like tiered trays, or not tiered trays, I bought more for dough bowls cause they're like longer. So I figured, you know, you could like stick them in like a dough bowl and kind of have them sitting out with stuff in the middle. This is called a seeded fruit faux stem hearth and hand again. And it's just like a nice like tan beige kind of color. And then they had these eucalyptus ones. I bought three of these. I don't know why I didn't buy four because I thought three would look good in like an arrangement. But like if I wanted to use them on my dough bowl, I would prefer to have four. I think two would maybe just be not enough. So I am on the lookout for another one of these. I couldn't find one yesterday. And this is, is eucalyptus and I like how it's um, almost like a heart shape on the eucalyptus and it's just a little lighter than some of that stuff you see at Hobby Lobby. But yeah, in a little vase, I really like this with just the three of them, but I wanna pick up one more. So if I wanna use them in a dough bowl. I got quite the haul around me. I am super excited to start getting into my tier trays and all that fun stuff. So I hope you've been enjoying all my videos. I've had a couple of haul videos here, which I don't put too many out of those, but just couldn't help but share. Let me know what videos you are excited about seeing. Thanks again, Susan, for all the wonderful gifts. They're very appreciated. And thanks everybody for watching. And as always, please like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.